Alright guys, I'm going to remove this pan that the gas tank sits in underneath and I found the best way to do it is with an air chisel. Um, I didn't want to go through and drill and take a chance of drilling into my floorboard and anything. And I'm going to leave this back part of it here because my seat should clear you know, the, the back part when they go back. So this is actually a structural, hooks into the rear door post. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that, but this has to go. And this is the last part of it right here. Just gonna show you how easy it comes off. Get some light down here where I can see it. All right guys, hold your ears. I'm gonna have nothing but distortion. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. I'm sure the, uh, the camera probably vibrated around so bad. Y'all couldn't even see anything. Hey, yeah, at least we're on the same spot. But uh, let me back you out of here. Let me see what we're looking at here. chisel and that way we'll be able to mount some seat tracks that I've been saving for something I had no idea what I was saving them for but um, I think we found what they're gonna go in uh, yeah this was uh, making it difficult to work around on everything actually um, would have made my seat way too high in the first place here, comes right out. Set it up here and make a nice uh, fender skirt for the super single. <laughs> As you can see where we're going here. We're starting to get a an idea. And uh, I think what I have figured out here is I'm going to I'm gonna flip my exhaust manifold. Yeah, we probably can't see anything. Let me get some light in here. All right, guys. I have to come all the way around and steal my light back. And I'll probably unplug it halfway around here. Uh, what we're gonna do is flip this manifold, exhaust manifold upside down. And that's gonna put my turbo up in here somewhere at a different location to where it's not in my fender. Um, I have to do a few measurements from where my hood sits on down to make sure I've got clearance, but um, I can fix my fender back there. I'm hoping it will put it in a better location. That one kind of turns down there. I ain't worried about the exhaust. You can probably see what I did with the exhaust too. This lighting is going to be terrible here. This is how I'd had it. And if you can see, it's going to uh, come down and I'm gonna run it under the running board all the way down the side to the stack, which the stack's not gonna be that low, of course, it's gonna be up higher, but a little Corvette 
a side pipe. That's what I'm going to use for a stack. So that'll be uh, fairly easy to do. And even if I um, put, flip the turbo over, flip the exhaust manifold over, and flip the turbo over, which I'll have to um, break it loose and do some modifications. See what all I have to do on that turbo to get it to flip. Probably have to spin the housing. I will. I'll have to um, take loose the exhaust side. The other side just spins with the snap ring. And I'll probably have to extend my oil line and I'll have to, my oil drain will have to be modified. I can already see my water pipe's going to be in the way, which is um, not hooked to anything really. It's just a circulation tube now. It's been bypassed. So that could actually be disconnected. It would have to be rerouted over here to this heater core anyway in the future because I'm in the future I'm sure I will want heat in here because the heater fan works. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll probably have enough heat right there, I'm sure. All right, well, the reason why I'm coming through my exhaust through this way is because I'm trying to knock down on the heat that goes under the vehicle. Um, we are going to put, mount the battery right here. I'm gonna make a battery box come off the inside of the frame right there beside the transmission. And my hot wire from the starter comes over, and of course I can hook the ground on the block somewhere, anywhere. And that'll be hooked up. I got all the pedals in. My brake pedal's a little low, but I've made my clutch pedal a little high because it had lots and lots of slop in it back in the day when it was in this truck. But now I have fixed all the pivot points. I welded that cast plate right there that bolts up underneath the dash where the um, the pin goes through with oblong the holes and um, that was fun uh, learning how to TIG weld for the first time on aluminum and on aluminum cast <laughs> so yeah first shot first time took me a couple times to get to learn how to stick and I used that as a test <laughs> across the top side there and laid me a few beads. Boy, they come out nice, but try to weld it whole. And it's cast and it was full of crap. I mean, it was it just kept puddling up trash. So it was fun, but I got it and it works and it works good. Um, and I made uh, my clutch rod adjustable. That's why it's sticking up a lot further because I adjusted more into it, which I really don't think I need. And my brake pedal, I know is a little low and I might have to take that rod out and make it adjustable also which I, that might be my uh, next project I do on something like that but I kind of like it because it's even with the, the gas pedal and of course the gas pedal works full throttle everything's working out really good I mean it's just it's amazing how everything's lining up I, mean, I don't know if you can see that but um, do you see how the frame lines up with the floor. I'll well, see, I've been air chiseling on this, so it's been knocking some dirt off, but you know, this thing's just pretty much, everything's, looks like the, the frame narrows as the cab narrows, almost perfectly the same. As you can see how this cab narrows as it goes forward. The frame does the same thing in the same spot, so. Just me, or it's, you know, kind of meant for it. And uh, once we flip that turbo over and see if we can hopefully get something done on that. If you look, you know, there's a lot of room across that fender right there, up high. And after looking, you know, through here, I've got to kind of line my eye, eye sights up with this in the corner of the cab right here and make my measurements down and just you know I don't want to flip that over and be in the same predicament in the side of this hood which is probably where I'll be 
But um, yeah, I can hammer that fender back and I'll weld it back down. I'm glad I didn't cut that piece off. <clears throat> I really didn't like doing that. And I don't want it sticking out where it can be seen and I will have to remove a little more of this down into here. I, I don't want to get into my fenders. I mean, even though these, this fender is rough and deep to death, I still don't want to. Um, I still think moving this housing straight up here will give me the clearance I need because this this housing here I couldn't really I don't know I couldn't uh, couldn't get a breather idea to go on to this right here in this way I'll have to curve it cut it or cut my fender more and I didn't want to do that all right guys I'm just rambling on here but uh, yeah we're getting along getting things slowly and I'll put a warning at the beginning of this video for loud noises. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay in tuned. And y'all take care. Stay uh, corona free.